Hi, this is Dr. Campbell. And so today I just wanted to talk about how does school curriculum perpetuate, perpetrate racism in schools? Now, in a recent article, a California teacher refuses to teach Shakespeare as part of the school curriculum. Shakespeare is a tradition that is held in high esteem amongst many English teachers. Many of the aspects of the school curriculum de-emphasize the importance of the contributions of blacks, which continues to perpetuate racism in schools. Now, the first question is, how can a school curriculum that includes Shakespeare also perpetrates racism in schools? Now, one of the plays that Shakespeare did was called Othello. And Othello actually reinforces racism in the school curriculum. At the time that the play was written, which was in 1604, the Queen of England was racist, so there must have been a strong hatred of blacks during that time. Many of the racist comments are expressed during anger. For example, when Emilia found out that Othello had killed Desdemona, she was extremely upset and called Othello a black devil. The main characters that had racist attitudes included Lego, Brabatio, Roderigo, and Emilia, which was expressed as hatred towards Othello. Another character, who was Othello's best friend, made a racist comment when talking to Bravatio. Now, what he said was, e even now, very now, an old black ram is tumbling your white ewe. Lago says this to try to turn Bravatio against Othello. Lago uses racist comments throughout the entire play as he tries to turn people against Othello, he calls Othello a barbary horse. Rodrigo is Lago's accomplice and will do anything to help Lago. One of the racist comments that he made was when he called Othello behind his back thick lips. Rabatio is another racist character and becomes enraged when he finds out that his daughter, Desdemona, has been dating the Moor. That's what we call him, the Moor. Brabantio becomes so angry that he sends out his guards to catch Othe Othello and put him in prison. Brabantio's view of Othello is that he is a foul and dirty, no good black. Bramantio openly made racist comments regarding Othello to his face, which included lascivious moor and wheeling stranger. And so how do schools contribute to discrimination against black students, which includes the school curriculum? Many school social codes are unfamiliar and opposed to culturally diverse student home codes. Blacks have difficulty with school instructional concepts, concepts and ideas that are absent in their community, culture, or economic environment that ignore or misrepresent their present condition. School instructional procedures include cultural values, orientations, and perceptions that differ from those of black students. Inappropriate curriculum and instruction are concerns that make reversing underachievement for the culturally diverse student difficult. The majority of elementary and secondary school curricula are oriented towards white middle class children. Public schools continue to have culturally based philosophies and curricula that focus on white European and Judeo-Christian values. Improving school for black students includes establishing a functional partnership between black culture and school culture and developing school educational missions that do not compromise or ignore the cultural identity of black children. 
Effective high school instructional programs place value on the student's language and culture. Instructional materials and instructors who work well for European students do not necessarily work well for culturally diverse students. And to believe that they do is to assume that black, Latino, American Indian, Asian, Arab, and African immigrants and European origin students have identical personal, social, cultural, historical, and family traits. School instructional procedures include cultural values, perceptions, and orientations that differ from those of black students. Students who are not interested in school may meet teacher demands for compliance with resistance. Blacks acquire cultural values, attitudes, and learning styles that conflict with values, attitudes, and learning styles needed for success in public schools. Exposing students to conditions such as limited parental access to economic and educational resources, conflicting ideas about cultural transmission, and primary language use in the home an interaction style that does not prepare students for typical teacher-student interaction patterns prepare students for school failure before they begin to attend school. Individuals who accept school cultural orientation values expect passivity by the learner, authoritative transmission of information by the teacher, individual effort aimed at completing assigned tasks performance recognition, avoidance of confrontation, and minimal antagonisms. In schools, students become passive informational recipients, while in their culture, they are involved in a learning experience that is give and take, and in one situation, they may be the learner, and in another situation, they are the teacher. Black students can benefit from teachers who show concern and care for students, by establishing family and community-like classroom environments that include telling personal anecdotes, using relevant course material, and modifying interaction styles that entertain and engage students. Schools should consider revamping the school curriculum to ensure that black and other minorities do not continue to be victimized by racism in education. This is Dr. Campbell. You can read more about it on my blog at www.positiveracialrelationships.com. If you want to talk about it, you can call me at 856-566-3267. Have a great day, and thank you very much. Yeah. Be sure to check out positiveracialrelationships.com. Check it. Love, uh, yo, love. Pull your pencils out, classes and session. Let's focus on love and unable without a question. Visit positive racial relationships.com. Lead a classroom together like a marriage bond. Kick racism out, that ain't what life's about. For more information, check the website out. Yeah.